Hi all, this is Nikolai Belich from Romanian Video and I want to show you how to use uh, 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 SVG export extension to publish some diagram with additional functions like two tips or whatever. Uh, let's go forward and here is basic diagram which is uh, in this case uh, uh, org chart diagram uh, which shows some organizational structure and if you do a simple export like one to one let's do it now yeah okay you will have a web page and then you just get a stock thing right you can select shapes but nothing fancy so let's try to do it in to make it interesting right so I'm opening options by checking on settings button okay then let's add first to whatever sidebar yeah sidebar if we publish it we will have a sidebar on the drawing like that yeah you can close it open it for now it's empty let's put some content on it right and we can for example show shape properties like in a bulk stock option uh, let's see how it goes yeah here we have shape properties uh, outlet if we select things yeah we will see stock properties of the shape like all of them but we are interested more in a custom export and therefore let's go for the templates I check the stock export and let's go for a template right and here is a template basically and in the template you can specify like what do you want to see actually on the sidebar we are talking about the sidebar so let's go for the sidebar in my case I have an employee name here let's open the properties of the shape so it's clear like what is going on I'm opening data tab then external window and here every employee has some employee name employee ID title gender and so on now we open the properties and here you can type some sort of a template and when the page is rendered right the extension will check uh, uh, will replace the value in the curly braces here for example for the employee name it will substitute the real name then for title it will substitute employee title and so on right so let's go with a simple plan okay let's save it and push it and switch it back to home and push it right here we will have a little bit better tab right um, closing the previous ones so if we select it yeah we have employee name large as a caption right and then we have title of the employee okay that's it and uh, now let's try with the uh, tooltips yeah we can for example open a tooltip and set it by default to be on the top right and then we do the same for the template and then in the template we can do the same property name and then title and then let's put something else yeah pay salary let's put some salary there props dot and then pay you can check out the value here in the linked attributes and save and let's push it to disk publish okay and if you hover over a shape op, you will see the name of the person below the title and then the salary right let's set how tooltip basically works okay you can we can for example easily change formatting yeah if you don't like such a bold thing we can make it easy let's remove this title right and if we do it like that and put some here for example pay right so it's clear like what does it mean uh, as a number on the exported data okay let's push it again uh, let me check see now it's uh, first name is in small letters and then op opala we have a pay on the same line right and here is also the same on the pay, pay on the same line sorry 
let's fix that how to fix it it's just like you need to enter one more line and it's gonna be done but we want actually the name to be a little bit, bit bigger this is actually markup language you can check out the markup language uh, in the syntax in the internet it's a very simple markup language and you can for example like uh, or you can check links on my site to the documentation on the markup language but it's quite basic I think you can use it uh, you might have used it if you have a project on github for example or some other website let's try it yeah and here it's like for example if you put one hash here this is a level one uh, caption if you put two that is level two caption if you put three it's level three caption relatively small yeah so let's try to do it like that what we got see it's relatively small not that big mm. okay and you notice that pay is now on other line we can put for example here also like before title like pay title yeah so it's clear like what is going on let's push it again okay and here we have a title 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 okay this is about tooltips so suppose we don't want actually tooltips but we want I don't know like a pop-up window on click we can do that as well let's enable it right and then we enable the title for this window which is gonna be empty we don't want any I, I will show that later and then we want uh, some template here and uh, here we will make something more interesting right we will add some image and image link actually is a property here if you check on the data on the data table yeah right every person has a link to his image here is just a stock image is generated but in reality it can be anything actually and I mean it can point anywhere probably on your local uh, network drive where the images are stored for example yeah so here what we have we have employee name then we have image of the employee and then we have ID and uh, performance and salary yeah right quite easy text pop over and let's push it okay here we have a page and uh, yeah now you see I'm hovering uh, I'm uh, when I'm hovering over shapes nothing is popped up but if I click on the shape yeah I get my pop over here so I have a picture then text three lines of text basically formatted as a paragraph yeah okay I can click another person then I will get this one another one yep that's it basically and you can actually customize this quite heavily if you go for developer option here and write your scripts and write the scripts uh, which shows popovers or tooltips yourself actually these tooltips and popovers are using bootstrap stock options so you can easily find some fancy effects but that might be a, a, you know a team for next demo so thank you for watching see you bye bye